Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's recon, I'm going to unbox Pirates, a game for one to four players set during the golden age of piracy in the Caribbean. This is designed by David Kershaw and published by White Dog Games. Let's get down to the table for a closer look. All right, first off, I do want to say White Dog did provide this review copy. Okay, Pirates by David Kershaw. This is one that as soon as I saw was on the White Dog Games website, I said, okay, I got to get a copy. Uh, David Kershaw done many excellent solitaire war games that I have enjoyed over the years. Um, World War Z USA, covered on the channel. Um, Irish Freedom, uh, I think the most recent one of his I played, really enjoyed that one. Um, covered that one on the channel as well. And then he has... Uh, Vietnam Deluxe, Solitaire Caesar, which I've played but just haven't shown off on the channel. But for now, let's take a look at Pirates here. Pirates is an exciting solitaire game set during the golden age of piracy in the Caribbean. You play a pirate attempting to gain fame, infamy, and popularity for the ages, and of course, booty and gold. You do this by conducting piracy on merchant shipping and raids on towns in the Caribbean, all while competing against or co coordinating with other player pirates and solitaire-controlled pirates. Very nice. Game features a Caribbean game map, player character cards, 18 different historical pirates, each with their own special ability, so I like that. 18 different types of merchant ships, up to five pirate characters, Caribbean map, design of zones, and we'll look at the map here in a second. Shipbuilding, piracy, port rating, and trade turn action phases. Oh, I like that. Ports have different trade ratings for payment of goods sold by pirates. Port Raid and Merchant Ship Attack Combat Resolution Procedures. 12-page rulebook, different cards, bid tokens, allegiant markers, pirate ship counters. <gasps> it goes on and on. Solitaire suitability, very high. Obviously, I like that. Playing time, one to two hours. Very nice. Davy Kershaw, Jose Ramon Fora, Game Art, Box Design, Mark Mahaffey. All right, let's open her up. A little austere, simple, but I do like it. All right. And then let it, let's get everything out of here, and we will take a look at what is in this box, pirates. Okay, so a nice, potentially easy 12-page rulebook. Right, I don't want to say it's easy, but it's only 12 pages, and 12 pages, by the way, looks like this includes this design notes section here, and then some find out more information, a little bit of a biography here. I'm a man of fortune and must seek my fortune, Captain Henry Avery. Very nice. All right, full color rule book. Take a look at it here. Again, with my recons, I'm not trying to learn the game or teach it or anything like that. We're just kind of see what's in the rule book, what's what the components look like, and get an idea if this is to be a type of game for us. You can see example of a on the map, example of a port overview again of kind of what's in the game, different the game map, game counters tells you on player order example pirate character card blackbeard game set up here Ooh, lots of pictures i do like this so i'll make sure having uh pictures full color again just helps you i feel like examples right when you're trying to set up and, and learn a game but again if it only goes to 12 pages how to divvy up booty. All right, I, I'm already getting excited. You know what? I think this game is going to be a game for me. Action phase, pass, build, piracy, raid, or trade. All right. Piracy. We'll go straight to that, right? We definitely want to engage in some piracy in our game. That's for sure. What is this? This uh, ship here. Very cool. Okay, again, we're just trying to learn the game, but yeah. So, looks game, uh, game rules. Kind of short and sweet, it looks like. Full color, which I like. Ooh, what do we got here? Pirates, quick reference sheep. Sheet? Sheep? No, no sheep in this one, as far as I'm aware. Quick reference sheet. Single-sided, nice card stock. So, always love a good player aid in a game. You guys know that. Ooh. Here. These counters. So, we got one counter sheet. These are some wild-looking counters. Really nice-looking, actually. So... Back it up here, you can kind of see. Zoom in now. So it's nice, the thick um, Blue Panther's a printer for White Dog Games, so they do um, kind of like individually die cut, laser cut, however they do it. Um, and use like that thicker counters, right? It's almost like a, it's like compressed particle board, but almost like a wood, very thick counters. You can zoom in, 
I got gold here. If I can pop them out, I'll show you some gold. Oh, very nice. Okay, yep, so definitely very nice thick counters. I like that they're different shapes too. So you have, you know, square counters, the allegiance flags, port defense counters, trade rating for obviously different ports, I assume. Turn it is, what you're gonna be doing. And look at these, look at these wild uh, ship counters. These things are really cool, actually. It's a really cool shape, you can see. Very nice. Well done on these counters here. Did notice it looks like the trade good counters. It looks like it may be slightly, the word trade may be slightly off on the actual counter. Let's see. Oh, well, you can read it just fine. Trade goods, so. It's a barrel. Barrel, you know what's in there? Something good. Food, rum, who knows. Spices, more gold. Very cool. Okay, so the counters look good. Let's take a look at this map here, and we'll see you may end up putting it under Plexi. Let's see, what do we got here, guys? We see what the camera actually can see it pretty good. Okay, so it's a nice, modest, what is this, 22 by 22 map or so? 22 by 24, something like that. So, nice, thickish paper. It is a paper map, obviously. Um, again, from uh, Blue Panther Printer, but it is nice, thick sort of matte finish on the map here. I'll probably put it under Plexi just so it lays flat for me for when I play, but really nice artwork on it. Have the Caribbean, right? Here's Cuba, Florida, Yucatan. So we have places for merchant ships, different, these are the ports, right? Port Royale, Jamaica, San Juan, random port table up here, the turn track, Holding boxes, popularity, gold, infamy, raids, fame, piracy. Very nice. That's actually a really cool looking map. Maybe a little closer so you guys can kind of see. Louisiana up here. West Caribbean. You notice the numbers for, oh, compass here. You notice the numbers for the areas. So for instance, you know, high seas one to two, West Caribbean five to six. See some different areas numbers for locations and so it looks like some of these boxes have some numbers potentially as well so hey guys future wayne here when my copy of pirates arrived and when i did the unboxing i didn't realize while filming it that i was missing a deck of cards basically as soon as i finished filming and i kind of started piecing together the video i looked at, i was reading the rule book and i looked and said wait a second i'm missing a bunch of cards yep i didn't get any of the cards with it i emailed uh, Blue Panther and the very next day they sent me the deck of cards arrived just a few days later even with the Christmas holiday still got them very fast so kudos to them obviously disappointed I didn't get it right away but kudos to them they fixed it quick hey what's your address and they sent it over so let's go ahead and take a look at the cards for the game and then we'll finish up the recon and uh, obviously we'll get to some playthroughs soon so all right pirates here and they have the nice wraps and it's on the top bottom so Cards won't come undone in the box. Take a look at the backs. All the back sides appear to be the same. Pirates. All right, flip her over here. So now we have the cards for the actual pirates themselves, such as Blackbeard, Edward Teach, real name. Started his career in piracy under Edward Hornigold in 1716. Flag, unique player action, and then with the AI, so right, solitaire game. So. I know in the solitaire game, right, you play, you pick a pirate, but then you have the other, is it three or four, three or four positions um, filled by then AI pirates who, you know, you're picking what action you're going to take while the AI here is going to be taking sort of a random action. Henry Morgan, Francois Alones, I, I won't try to pronounce the rest of them, don't worry guys. Very nice. Whole bunch of them. How many we got? Whoa, are these all pirates? Sure looks like it. 18 different pirates, so that's fantastic to have 18 different pirates available. Wow, okay. And we have our cargo ships here. So, telling you, you know, French, British, whatever. So, Bermuda Sloop, a schooner, defense, single mass ships for coastal trade. 
cargo, what cargo is going to be on the ship. You're going to roll for that and then random event, what happens. I'm not sure if that's if you defeat it or what that is. I'm not sure how the random event plays into it. But I think the rest of these are going to be these cargo cards. Yep, so while a key part of the game, you need need some cargo ships um, for us to, you know, raid and take over and steal their goods. And we need our actual pirates so we can go ahead and do that. So, okay, that is the deck of cards from Pirates. Let's go ahead and get to the rest of the recon. All right, this is Pirates from David Kershaw and White Dog Games. Looks pretty slick. I gotta be honest. It's actually kind of surprised how cool it looks. It has a really nice flare, like flare, right? A really nice like vibe to it. A nice like thematic look, which uh, I am definitely excited about. So uh, again, this is Pirates, a game of a game for one to four players, which I'll be doing at solitaire. But it's nice it has four, and then I think even saw some of the rules for optional fifth player maybe. Set during the golden age of piracy in the Caribbean. So let me know what you think of this game. If you had a chance to play it, I know it's brand new as of the filming of this, but we're excited to take a look at it. I'm very excited to take a look at it. Um, and I definitely will have videos coming on this game. So please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't. Otherwise, until next time, everybody. Later.